Hey guys, alright, so you know that I'm going to be posting up videos on this channel. It's basically a series talking about different experiences that I've had in the music business. And this one is a very recent one. Check this out. So, about a month ago, there was a producer who kept on getting in touch with me. And he sent me, like, probably about 10 emails. Just, you know, talking about the music business and how he wants to work with me and whatnot. And oftentimes, I don't reply to emails if, I don't, if they don't really seem professional to me. So I was ignoring his emails, and then finally, when he kept, he kept on sending me emails, so I responded to him. And we ended up speaking on the phone, and he told me that he had um, major labels that were interested in signing an artist. He had these songs that he wrote, and the labels were really interested in these songs, and were looking for an artist to sing these songs. So I basically told him that I appreciate him reaching out to me, but at the same point in time, if I'm going to sign to a record label, I want to sign to a label that's extremely interested in me as an artist, and not necessarily because they're interested in songs and, you know, then assigning any artist to those songs. So he was like, he, he understood my point, and he's like, okay, okay, but you know what, I think we should at least meet, and uh, let's, let's set up a dinner meeting and go through things, because I have some ideas that may be of interest to you. So I was like, you know what, cool, yeah, let, let's meet up and go through things. So finally, the day after, we were confirming, and he sent me a text message, and he said, so how about tomorrow at TGIFs? And I replied back, I'm like, tomorrow sounds great. Actually, we'll be able to do somewhere other than TGIFs because I'm a vegetarian, there's not much for me to eat there. And then he replies back to me, and he says to me, it's not about eating, it's about getting your career straight. And I'm thinking, you kidding me, dude? Like, you're the one who wanted to do a dinner meeting, and now you're telling me it's not about eating, it's about getting your career straight. And first of all, who are you? Like, what? You're the one who's been hounding me, and now you're talking to me about it's about getting my career straight? Like, what? It just doesn't make any sense. So finally, I don't reply to that text message. I'm just like, wow, is this guy for real? And he sends me a message saying, should our attorneys talk first? I'm thinking... Talk about what? There's nothing to even talk about. I don't even know who you are. Should our attorneys talk first? Are you kidding me? I don't reply to that message either. I'm just like sitting there looking at my phone like thinking this guy's what the hell is wrong with this guy? So then he actually sends me another message saying, let's get it together, ma. Let's get it together, ma? <laughs> like, who the hell is this guy? And he's so, he's so unprofessional. This is ridiculous. So of course, I'm not replying to any of his messages and I, I'm definitely not meeting with this guy tomorrow. Like, he's already turning out to be like some kook, which is why I, I take a very long time replying to business emails because <laughs> you always have to do background checks on these freaks. Anyhow, I think it's getting under his skin now that I'm not replying to him. <laughs> so then he sends me another message saying, you know what, how about we reschedule because this is getting too complicated for me. I'm like, hell no am I ever scheduling anything with you ever. <laughs> he says, he sends me another message right after saying, um, get yourself together as an artist and as a woman. My associates dislike weakness. Then he sends me a picture of himself in the studio up against his console. As if like, I'm gonna regret that I didn't meet him because like I should be working with him. Like, dude, you're laughable at this point. Mm, yeah. Like, come on, dude, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. If anybody ever calls himself like, I'm a Grammy maker and I do this, I do this, like really look into them because like those are the people who are real in the business don't really come across like that most of the time. So you have to really be careful with, with, these, uh, with these kooks. <laughs> What's wrong with people?